Over the years we have the likes of the BMW R1250GS Adventure, KTM 1290 Super Adventure and Triumph Tiger 1200 doing some impressive heavy lifting, while even affordable options like the Royal Enfield Himalayan and KTM 390 Adventure ensures you don't need big power to go further. So it is the mid-to-large adventure motorcycle market that is booming right now. With new entries from the Ducati Desert X, Husqvarna Norden 901 and Aprilia Touareg 660 shaking things up. So let's get our Nabla tires dirty as we hit the rough stuff to bring you the top 10 best mid-to-large adventure motorcycles, or the best adventurers up to 1000 cubic centimeters. For riding and please subscribe our channel this is Mission 1K Sub-Series Video 8, and press the bell icon to all thank you, let's ride along. 85 TT. Moto Guzzi has made a habit of doing things a little differently to its rivals over the years, but given it has just celebrated its centenary, it's clearly doing something right. Straddling somewhere between off-roader, tourer and scrambler, while the V85 TT perhaps doesn't know what it wants to be when it grows up, it will at least look good doing so, as it deftly evokes the retro desirability of 1980s rally raiders. The V-twin 853 cubic centimeters engine is a brisk performer and while it is perhaps a touch too sophisticated to chuck hard around on the rocks, it holds its own when the going gets tough. It will take you a long way too with a class leading 23 liter fuel tank keeping you in play when its rivals have to go home. 9. Suzuki V-Strum 650 XT Yes it's very long in the tooth, Yes it isn't as refined as its rivals and yes there is a whiff of it being something of a white goods motorcycle, but there is a certain honesty about Suzuki's venerable mid-range off-roader that charms. With its last major update coming in 2017, the V-Strom XT does feel a little tired but that advancing age has its advantages too because at 8,699 pounds for the flagship XT version, this is a lot of motorcycle for your money. Moreover, while the 645 cubic centimeters V-twin engine can trace its roots back to the 90s, like your dad at the disco, it's still eager to prove it can perform, while the trusty mechanicals are both hardwearing and compliant. So while rivals can dazzle you with tech, when all you need is a good value workhorse that does the job, the Suzuki V-Strong 650 XT is, for many, all the motorcycle you'll ever need. CF Moto 800 metric tons touring. CF Moto leading the way as it continues to prove motorcycles from our friends in the east are an increasingly competitive option. The latest example of this is the CF Moto 800 metric tons, a motorcycle that is new for the brand but otherwise very familiar as a reimagined version of the now discontinued KTM 790 adventure. Not that this is simply a hand me down model though. For a start, we reckon CF Moto have restyled it into a more attractive proposition and while the 800 metric tons isn't perhaps the last word in refinement on the road, it does at least benefit from its Austrian donor's impressive off-road capabilities. As a buying prospect though, the 800 metric tons really stands out with this flagship touring trim offering a heap of kit, plus a class-leading 4-year warranty. Priced at just over pound 11, 000, 000 pounds, CF Moto have even thrown in pannier cases as standard. In short, the 800 metric tons makes a very strong case for itself. Literally. It literally comes with strong cases. Husqvarna Norden 901. This is the Husqvarna Norden 901, the Tesco finest to Kmoto's Tesco value. It makes use of the current generation KTM 890 platform, but dresses it in a signature style that marries both premium and rugged aspirations. Whether Husky has been successful in this objective will leave up to you, but it's a similar story on and off the road, with the Norton 901 attempting to prove it's a rough M, tough M adventure bike while being a compliant, refined tourer yet not quite hitting the mark at either. But, in a saturated market of options you might find a touch generic, the Husqvarna Norden 901 is an adventure motorcycle for the discerning rider. 6. Honda CB500X Okay, 
So the Honda CB500X is not going to outperform many, or any, of the other entries in this countdown off-road, but then no one is going to buy this to sling mud every other day of the week. Instead, if you approach it from the angle of needing a capable, compact and affordable urban runaround that just happens to have the versatility to go rogue now and again, then the CB500X has a lot going for it. With Honda's 4-strong 500 range an excellent choice for those stepping up in the size and power stakes without surrendering their A2 license, the X does exactly what you'd expect and does it well. Better still, at 6,699 pounds it's an absolute steal too. However, if you'd like your Honda to have a bit more grip between its tire treads, then hold out for the return of the twin cylinder, 750 cubic centimeters Transa. 5. Aprilia Touareg 660 Aprilia has waded back into the adventure segment with the third model to spin off from its new 660 platform after the RS Sports Bike and Tuono Naked. With its boxy, upright appearance very clearly inspired by those rally raiders we gaze back at so fondly, this, the Aprilia Touareg 660, is quite a departure from the slinky lines of its brothers. It's quite a different proposition under the skin too, with the revy, evenness of the 659 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine being toned down for the Touareg in favor of gruntier low down torque. Even so, with 79 brake horsepower on tap there is still evidence of Aprilia's sporting DNA out on the road and weighing in at 187 kilograms, the Touareg is lighter than its rivals too. On the flip side, Compared with the Tenera 700, it is easy to tell it prioritizes on-road use over going to extremes off it. 4. KTM 890 Adventure With all of its off-roading experience and know-how distilled into the middle child of KTM's adventure lineup, the 890 Adventure and the Hardcore Adventure are, are the bare grills of motorcycles. Recently updated, the latest 890 Adventure smooths off some of the rougher edges for a more enjoyable ride on the road, but be in no doubt, it still takes its off-roading very seriously. Light yet powerful with 103 ponies available from the 889 cubic centimeters engine, the 890 Adventure isn't cheap starting at 11,449 pounds but it's got to go as well as the show with WP Explorer suspension, top-notch Metzeler tires and Dakar-style rally modes as standard. 3. Triumph Tiger 900 The Triumph Tiger 900 rally is so capable off-road, it's even the motorcycle of choice among baddies in the latest James Bond flick No Time to Die. Fortunately, you don't need to work for an international criminal to enjoy what the Tiger 900 has to offer. In fact, far from it being baddie, it's actually rather good. In rally trim, the Triumph Tiger 900 is tougher than the sister GT Tourer version but still benefits from a similar level of on-road refinement and touring gusto. However, where the GT has to leave its skills on the tarmac, the rally can get right down to business off it with the 94 brake horsepower 937 cubic centimeters triple cylinder engine making light of heavy work. At 12,195 pounds for the base rally version, the Triumph Tiger 900 is quite pricey but it is well equipped, is well built and comes brimming with tech that complements, rather than disrupts, your progress. 2. Ducati Desert X So, is the Ducati Desert X better late than never, without a doubt? Indeed, Ducati, being Ducati, has taken its proper adventure debut very seriously, going to the lengths of developing an all-new chassis and frame around the well-proven 937 cubic centimeters Testostrata twin. Far from betraying its novice status in the rough stuff, the Desert X is a convincing first stab at a trails bike, while it is packed to the brim with riding modes for every occasion. Naturally, Ducati hasn't abandoned its sporting DNA on the road either with the 110 brake horsepower engine feeling frisky, while the Desert X handles with eagerness. We also love the simple modern retro design that pays homage to the Ducati engine, the car rally winning Kajiva Elephant. 1. Yamaha Tenera 700 
There is a lot to like about the Tenera 700, which focuses on doing the basics very well. It's an excellent companion off-road, proving chuckable and easy to handle, while it gives the KTM 890 Adventure a run for its money in the rough stuff. It's a peppy performer on the road too, with the 689 cubic centimeters cross-plane two-cylinder engine feeling brisker than its modest 72 brake horsepower on paper might have you believed. Better still, having been criticized for its limiting 16-liter fuel tank in standard trim, Yamaha has not only listened to its customers, it's gone to lengths with its response of the new Yamaha Tenera 700 World Raid. Using a clever bit of repackaging, the World Raid comes with a vast 23-liter fuel tank, while other upgrades, such as more sophisticated suspension and multifunctional GPS tech, single it out as an off-roader for the more intrepid of adventurers. <laughs>